all right, let's get busy. I'm going to one take this. I'm going to mess some words up and everything else. But this is my book. Who cares? This is a chapter in my book called When You Leave Your Relationship, So Will Your Blessings, right? Let's get right into it. Uh, go get the book, Spiritual Women Dating at SouthernCovenant.com. Some humans are blessed in all that they do. Whatever they touch prospers. They will be blessed all of their days. They receive much help from the spirit world. They were left bags by their parents. Money finds them. People bless them. They are used to having. Their borns, their born is overflowing. Their favor overflows to their children. Their partner is also blessed because of them. Their job prospers because they are there. Some of you leave a job and a job shut down. The job only was successful because you was there. When a person like this walks away from a, a situation, from a marriage, from a relationship, from a partnership, it will die. The favor and a blessing, their, their favor and blessings will follow them. They may continue to move forward for a few months or a few years. See, it looked like it'll look good from the outside, but it will be decaying from the inside. See, sometimes you walk away from a situation, the person seems like they're doing good. It seems like the person is doing okay. So from the outside, it looks good, but from the inside, it's going to be decaying. An individual's light and favor will travel with them. It cannot be stolen. People attempt to steal our energy, to steal our manners, to steal certain things. What I'm talking about is metaphysical. They want to steal it, but most of the time, for those of us who vibrate higher, it's going to follow. It's going to follow us, and we can bring it back with us. When done wrong, just walk away. Don't argue or fuss with a person. Your helping spirits will battle for you. When you're trying to get out of a situation and they're cutting up and they're doing too much, they're going to take you to the court. They're going to take you to court. They, yeah, they, they let your helping spirits do it. They're going to battle for you. All humans don't have this favor. Some have to work for it. To us, it's given. This is why a person who is taking advantage of you will continue to reach out. They'll bother you for years. They miss your energy. They didn't realize who and what you were. In time, your energy will leave them. Your energy has left them. They see it now. The person lost the company that you helped them build, right? They gained artificial friends. Their artificial friends are going away. The person's health is falling, is failing. They used to look good. They used to be, yeah, hair falling out. You got diabetes, high blood pressure right now, uh, dealing with blood clots. You healed them also. See, the person didn't realize that when you were dating them, your energy and your magic was healing them. Stop feeling sorry for people who take advantage of you. This is a weakness. It'll harm you. The higher beings don't have pity. You shouldn't either. See, you mimic the gods one moment. You call yourself a god. You call yourself a goddess. But you got pity for human beings down here who take advantage of you. That's a weakness. Take everything that's for you with you. We feel sorry for people while they attempt to end us. Keep the same energy. I've seen men put women on child support. Huh? Because because person they won't be with them. I've seen women put good fathers on child support. Humans get upset when they can't control another person. You must conduct your relationship like a professional. Sometimes they go wrong. They go bad. Sometimes they end. A person who was beautiful in, in the beginning can become your enemy. If the situation was different, they'd take everything from you and leave you with nothing. They'll take the kids in the house. They'll have you ask them for things. They'll feed you the, crumb, the, the, the crumbs from the table. This is why you must protect yourself from other humans at all times. Trust no one, not even your children. This may be too much for some, but it's a universal law. What you brought to the table is yours. You work for it. You have the right to take it with you. You put precious energy into creating your kingdom. It doesn't belong to another person. Let them take what belongs to them, and you take what belongs to you. Go get the book Spiritual Women Dating at southerncover.com. Oh, Lord, I see.